We are previewing week 17 in the NFL right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. I'm Peter Loshak. You're watching SBR videos, and we're going to take a look at the uh, Ravens-Bengals game right now, Joe. The market, the line is only up for about half the market, but Pinnacle has a line, so we'll use those for the purpose of this video. Pinnacle has a Cincinnati minus 7.5 and, and a total of 43. Since he, of course, uh, lost at Denver in the Monday night game, but they covered again. They're now 12-2-1 against the spread on the year overall. So that's very impressive for Cincinnati. And, of course, Baltimore, you know, came back led by Ryan Mallett and got a huge upset win as a huge underdog against Pitt. So, uh, you know, you're either going to bet against Baltimore here or bet against uh, Cincinnati and that massive um, winning record uh, ATS overall on the year if you're going to take a, uh, the spread here. Might want to take a shot with the under, though. Both these teams have been uh, notable under-trenders recently, which is a little bit surprising, I guess. Uh, the Ravens are 2-5 and five over under since their buy, and Cincinnati is 2-7 and seven over under since their buy. And now, of course, we also have reports of possible injury to uh, A.J. McCarron for the Bengals. So maybe, uh, maybe both these teams went under last week. Maybe we take a shot with the under, even though it's a low total, 43. What do you think? Yeah, well, McCarron is to his non-throwing wrist, and they said it is definitely sprained. It's not broken. Uh, I'm not so worried about necessarily the risk there, but A.J. McCarron, look, his first six quarters, he looked like he was a starting quarterback in the NFL, but I always say when a new quarterback takes over, there's a certain point of diminishing return, right. and then in the, in the uh, you know quarters seven and eight, all of a sudden he started showing some chinks in the armor, and I do think that Baltimore, look, uh, you know, they're, they have Ryan Mallett, who's mega talented, and remember, these mega talented underachievers, Anytime they get new life, they seem to respond to that. Again, did Mallet finally get his wake-up call this year when he was cut for missing a meeting? Long-term, I'm not so sure, but I've seen it so many times. Short-term, I do think that he will. We know that he's got the, the physical abilities, and you know, there's maybe that kind of gives Baltimore, who's had so many injuries this year, a little bit of an emotional lift because they certainly have a talent, a quarterback to rally behind. And this, this kid, Kamir Aiken, he's been tremendous. He's really come out of nowhere. He's had at least six catches in six of his last eight games and 70 receptions for the year. And, uh, you know, the Bengals, it's kind of weird here. They, they, you know, of course they have motivation. They they need to win and then Denver to lose. But that's kind of precarious motivation there when you don't really have your destiny in your own hands. You know, that if you win, you're only halfway there. Then you got to look at the uh, scoreboard. So I think the Ravens are very dangerous underdog here and i think they could actually pull off the upset uh, yeah i'm feeling the same way as you joe uh right now the line is baltimore plus seven and a half at pinnacle i guess i'm just uh feel i feel nervous about betting against that uh against cincinnati ats in any re re regard this year i do feel a little bit nervous but again we're talking about a backup quarterback who did you know again what, what a backup quarterback does short term and long term are two different things and now i think He's reached the point of diminishing return. So I'm still a little bit of a uh, show me with A.J. Sure. McCarron. You can't, you can't question what he did in his first six quarters, but let's see what he can do in his third game as a starter. All right, Baltimore plus seven and a half. You want to go official with that, Joe? We will go official. Okay, great analysis as always. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks so much for all your thoughts. Tell us about your website. It's been a, a great calendar year, a great uh, season. Look, I'd never claim to be slump-free. Look, even Billy Waters on his 60-minute interview said he's had some uh, losing months. So we've had a losing streak here and there, but the winning streaks always outnumber the losing streaks as we file this back on fire. Five and one are last six wise guy plays in college and pro football. Depending on what day you're watching this college football, NFL, we have a big, big closing out 2015 and opening up 2016. Visit offshoreinsiders.com for the details. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Peter.